All right, life is all about timing, isn't it? Atlanta blows a big lead against the Dolphins and head now to New England for a Super Bowl 51 rematch. But before we get to that, here's the important news. I won the pick set. Oh, of course it is. And by the way, you can see uh, Ray was 4-10 and 10 last week. Phil, you were 5-9. and nine. You're 44-47. And, and your new nickname... DFL. Oh, All no, right, I'm here still, we go. How many games am I behind? A lot. I'm still Don't worried about it. it. Okay. All right, so here's our first game. You ready, boys? Yes, let's do it. Sunday night football. It's the Falcons at the Patriots. Of course, it's a rematch of Super mm. Bowl 51, as I just pointed out. Mm. And then, of course, you got to remember the Falcons are coming off of that 17 point lead collapse in the second half. Yeah. Right. Jay Cutler and the Miami Dolphins. And they're going to New, New England. England. Yes. I'm going to have to go with Tom Brady in New England. Of course, I'm going with time. Look, you see all these notes I make every week? I don't know why you do that. I don't even know why I do it either because they're not working. <laughs> I actually sit down and think this stuff out. But I'm taking, the, I'm taking the New England Patriots. We talked about it early. They're throwing the football down the field. They're stressing defenses. Mm -hmm. They're going to win. Did you see what Dan Quinn said? i got to see more Julio Jones. And guess what? We're going to see a lot of Julio Jones Sunday night. I'm taking the Patriots. Okay. Redskins at the Eagles. Mm -hmm. This is Monday night football. I'll be there with Westwood One doing the game with Kevin Harlan. Who do you got? I watched the Eagles play against Carolina. And what they're doing defensively, but what LeGarrette Blunt is doing offensively, I'm going to have to go to the Eagles against the Redskins. Yeah, a, a physical team. They both are physical teams. Yeah. But Philadelphia, the way they're playing – at home, that crowd's going to be on fire. Emotion, emotionally, big boost for them. I'm taking the Eagles. Remember when you used to play the Eagles? I used to play the Steelers or the Ravens. Right. What did we always think about? We were going to get hit. Yes. Both of these quarterbacks are going to get hit a lot in this game. I like the home team, the Eagles. Chiefs at the Raiders. Mm. Chiefs at the Raiders. Maybe the Chiefs are looking ahead and kind of laid an egg against Pittsburgh Steelers. The Raiders laid an egg against the Chargers. Who, yeah. do, you, who do you like? I, you know, I'm going to have to go to the Chiefs. Getting beat by Pittsburgh physically. The way the Pittsburgh ran the ball on them, I think they go to Oakland and fix that. You know, worried about the health of the offensive line of the Kansas City Chiefs. That's a big thing. And mm. then what we found out, too, once they took away some of the gadgets, what do they have left on the offensive side? But saying all that, I'm still taking the Chiefs. <laughs> big game in the division. The Raiders are coming off of a tough loss. I'm going to stay with the Raiders and Derek Carr. I think they'll be a little bit better. By the way, do you like Navarro Bowman to the Raiders? I like Navarro Bowman. Okay, I don't know if he'll play in this game, but yeah. it's a good pickup for them. All right, Broncos at the Chargers. Broncos mm. at the Chargers. You know what? This is one of those ones. Phillip Rivers could get hot. You saw the Broncos didn't play particularly well last week. But I'm going to have to stay with the Broncos. I mean, what they're doing defensively, i got to go with the Broncos. I'm, I'm going with the Broncos. Yeah. Phillip Rivers, it's about him and the three wide receivers. If the, if the Broncos can't cover them, then they're not going to have a chance to be a, a big-time playoff team. So I'm taking them. Did you guys see the pass rush from uh, Bosa and Ingram last yeah. week? Sure, I've seen yeah. it every week. I'm taking the Chargers. Okay. I've said. <laughs> Final game, Packers hosting the Saints. Packers, obviously, without Aaron Rodgers. Brett Hundley is going to be their starting quarterback. Drew Brees in a new revamped St. Stephens going into Lambeau. It's one, per it's one person, and you look around the league, I always said it's hard to win without. That's Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, no question. I, mean, I think he's that special. I think going to New Orleans, I mean, the Saints come in there. The way Drew Brees is playing right now, I think I'm going to go to the Saints. I've watched the, all the Saints games. They were horrendous the first two weeks on defense. Yeah. They fixed the problems. They don't make those big mistakes. I'm going to take the Saints beating the Packers this week. You know, the there. last time I saw a number seven uh, Packers jersey, a quarterback, I think it was Don Mikowski. There you go. And he's in playing a game that I was playing in. He got hurt in that game, and then Brett Favre came, came and in and took over. I'm going with the Packers and Brett Hundley. All right. Stick with it. This is all about, uh, you know, Mike McCarthy and his coaching staff. They want to prove a point here.